ladies, and welcome to your midweek serving of Celebville Tea right here on BT Breaks with myself, Unomalaga, the flame, the baddest in the game. You better say my name, and I'm here to give you the latest on all your faves. So without wasting any more time, honey, let's begin. U.S. rapper Vic Mensa found himself on the wrong side of the law after returning from his trip to Ghana, where he was spotted hanging out with Chance the Rapper and the president of Ghana, Nana Akufo Addo. Now, Vic was detained by U.S. Customs at an airport in Washington, D.C., for the possession of drugs, and in this case, it was psychedelic mushrooms, which are illegal in some states in the U.S. Now, according to reports, the feds are currently running a series of tests in order to identify the stash, and after a little digging, we also found that there wasn't an initiative passed to decriminalize the possession of some substances that are found in the plant so your boy may just walk away with a slap on the wrist depending on how things go but one thing's for sure he's gonna have to practice being a good role model from now on otherwise this is just not it my man like if you're a boxing fan and found yourself eagerly anticipating the return of boxing legend and heavyweight champ Mike Tyson to the ring and his rumored $49 million fight against Disney star turned boxer Jake Paul, well, you might want to go ahead and call off all your bets because apparently it was all a hoax. Now, a seemingly surprised Mike took to his Instagram to dismiss the rumors, saying that he was not aware about any fights involving him and that he had also recently ran into Jake Paul with no mention of this fight either. But for those of you who are itching for a boxing match, it looks like it's all systems go for that fight between Casper and Yovest, as well as Nark Music. And rest assured that we will be watching Popcorn in Hand to give you guys all the scoop. Now, speaking of Don Biliato, Casper Yovest, veteran actor Patrick Shai took to his social media to apologize to the rapper after threatening to beat him up, seemingly unprovoked. Now, in the video, he also went to call Casper's mom the B-word, and now it looks like Mr. Shai has had a change of heart after posting a subsequent video where he humbly apologized for his threats. I mean, the whole thing was a bit cringy, if you ask me. Firstly, what was the reason? Secondly, why are you embarrassing me, Dad? Now, taking things back to the States, Kim Kardashian's new boyfriend, Pete Davidson, seems to be shook following Kanye's new single called Easy, where he alludes to beating up the comedian. Now, Pete has reportedly beefed up security. However, it's been reported that he's not really phased by Kanye's threats in his lyrics. However, has growing concerns over Kanye's fan base, which is the only thing far more larger than his, according to the streets, child. Now, he's also worried that Kanye's fans might just take things a little bit too far, and he doesn't really want to take chances, you know. He's doing it very, uh, Caucasian. Our weekly salute goes out to our very own talented designer extraordinaire, Lukanyum Dingi, who showcased his range titled Bodyland Collection in Paris this week. And it looks like there's no stopping the young talent after walking away with the Karl Lagerfeld Prize last year. So keep those fires burning, honey. We see you and we love it. Once the Yano's got you, they got you. Welcome to the very first edition of the Ama Piano Roundtable Conversation. Starting off the top ten. Ah, uh, you want a war? Number one. We need to fill in Kuza Gogo. Coming in at number four. It's personal for you, ne? Number three. You cannot be pushed by TikTok. Number one. No, 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 no. Just go for yourself, day. Catch the Yano's Roundtable Top Ten Countdown of 2021. Now, man, well, it's unfortunately time for this flame to be out for now, but we do this again on Friday at 9.25 p.m. CAT, right here on BET Channel 129. In the meantime, keep in contact with us on social media by using the hashtag BTBreaksF, and don't forget to tag at BT underscore Africa. Until then, I love you guys so very much. Say it with me. Mwah. Bye, honey.